I'm in the cockpit. The show is never on autopilot. I'm in control. It's not a pilot. See what I just did there? aviation industry aeronautical engineer So sadly enough my pants may have come off during that time so it was not yeah it was I got excluded from university and then I had to take a bit of a break. Hello, I am Kamala Mutsando Shabalala. I am a student of the University of the things go up and down, as long as you believe in God, everything will work out right. So, manje, come and take a look into my life, and this is my story. Thing you can about the childhood here, me. Um, Uti is cut from my race, being shall and I, and she and I the seventh library in Alice Scotty. So, if you and um, Champe got the seventh little library, means or Hamba Naya corner, and then also Alice Scotty, um, because the moon donor or say. University got the got the bang of Mele logo, Melissa Scotty. So, um, interesting. I mean, no one be seen the goody. Mabumutang and Obey and I got the seven zang, I say reception yakon, Mancumbula. Um, Nabingzo, touching up either a pants great days, no Michelle Vinda, and a pants of a bang of bone mooty, Conumdano lap on his in danger low because, yeah, the gui part time job be a king So I would not handle um Utando as a same line of fun in the handbag yam Jenges Jenges comma sam it ten everywhere I would go Bishali Hambanam because in Pino being Kubil Kuni Ubungi Kula no Tangin Kuli Sutando we mean and get doing being in Nagel and getting was a go gong there was no space or opportunity within the Gipeo which could soon will apana gunzima lapana more than anything I would look more at ten on the positive side of life. I would look at the silver lining, what is it that I what what is the blessing out of whatever challenge that I I I, I go through. And that is still my approach in Bilweni up to Guzabinam Klanj. Cutting says, I think it was in Trump grade four and grade five. I was bullied to school and it is in danger. All that we ended up happening was, I don't know, somewhere between the fighting, best when the EPT or something like that. So, sadly enough, my pants may have come off during that time. So, it was not, yeah, it was. So, protector. Good thing personality. I mean, Galasus I think in the primary, actually, in the color, e karate, Galasus Cat, because 
the one thing ukuthi if you're someone who mhlambe manga be like bo vitimize it's a nice way ukuthi you gain confidence because i need to manage you learn ukuthi okay this is how i block this is how i defend myself nezinto ezinjalo so i think for me na nenting sizala khulu ngisikhathi ngenze karate ngaleso sikhathi Uh, I was actually proud of her. Ngoba noma bakati bamhlukumezile bekabuyele esikolweni. Azangadube athakisayo ngoba bayangihleka benzani. I was actually very proud of her. Ms. Category 9, that's when the school is um, big no ever to close a full space. We have we have my air show every year. Fula, I want to like all the military things, like we my airplane, he model, he's on kids into a kanjalo. And ngale sisi kati bingi asga cool about my airplane, he's on kids into so because bingi inchanta guti ngai akona. Ngai deciding ngale sisi kati guti. Whatever I do, ngufu nwenza show guti. Ya guas na guti. Iding sibin tanga airplane. What design it, but being from when the show is in Gosgo into something on my aeroplanes. After Imetric, um, I'm a mock some were almost straight A's. So, being in Tlant Laguti, this Everett's Bank offers a scholarship to study. And Wonka, Wonka, my choices I'm like either to become to go into physics to do nuclear physics no man against the aeronautical engineering bang except and because if it's a born at the bank for nearly color bank of risk scholarship I accept at the same time and yeah Um, so during my third year, at some point, to Mambe Akula, and obviously because Umami is my rock, and she is, we have one of the that if anything goes wrong, Mang Fedilim's university, we have to be in the middle So for me, obviously, it, I took it as a very hard hit. So we talked about to Umami in Klampe, and we have been discussing. I think the one thing that I felt was mostly Uguti, like I said, Umami is my whole world. To me, it felt like. So as a result of that, I'm a mark some weren't that good. And I got excluded from university and then I had to take a bit of a break. We've gone through a lot. We've gone through it it's times in La where I have we moved yeah, Tatwa. Um, but she's you know, so we, we was able to rebuild from the beginning. And then eventually, um, I got to my studies, I'm a graduate. And then I was studying at the master of design graduate. Um, my name is Pastor in Amsco. He conditions your pastor is that. But I did it. I must study that you must go in there for an interview for MC Benz. Sing it. Sing the complete internship, yami, and so sing the for an interview for a permanent position as a junior engineer in the Air Systems Division. Yam Fisella would um would I have a lay in quick interview her key. Go to and gain a temple with Mugulus Panay. I'm praying for her. Would she must do me as proud as she always did? She must be at her best. She must excel as her inspiration to excel in whatever she does. Sasa, it's a mean a lot to me because number one, I'm going to be in my aeroplane, and it's always been a dream. I'm going to be in my aeroplane, and also it means good things about have a lot more income. 
So I think the first thing I'm going to have to do is go milling into show with her and your mom no cook one room being on out for a nice big lunch to celebrate. <laughs> Normally I just always take a look from time to time in the website pages to make sure that they are Hey guys, I'm Singlani Amsko. I am in room for the interview manje and Yasawa and Fisugus Yongi Dinghambagali. Good afternoon, Tando. My name is Tian Mabunda. I'm a learning and talent development specialist representing HR. We want to welcome you to the interview here at AMSCO. Together with me, it's Miss Lee, who is the senior manager for Aero Systems. Before we carry on with the interview, Tando, I would like to give you a brief of what who AMSCO is all about. AMSCO is an official authorized agency for the Department of Defense. So our role, we acquire defense material on behalf of the Department of Defense. We receive requirements from them. We put together specification through the expertise of our engineers. Therefore, we contract the suppliers that will be able to deliver the job. Tando, um, tell us how would your educational background and experience gained from the program um, help you to enhance your career? Um, in terms of my educational background, I'm a qualified aeronautical engineer and seeing as though the position is within the aerospace industry, it puts me in a very good position to be able to know in terms of the more technical side with how aircraft operates and also what rules and regulations are required for aircraft to be able to fly in the sky. Right. Um, Tando, also um, you've referred to the aircraft um, that are operating in. Could you perhaps take me through the different categories of aircraft? As you know, um, there's a number of aircraft that we operate, so could you perhaps take me through them and their, the, the different roles of those aircraft in operations? Okay. Um, in terms of the different aircraft that are normally operated, um, you get the much faster aircraft, like your combat aircraft and things like that. Those normally have to fly much, much faster in the sense that they're, fast, they're flying faster than the speed of sound, which is Mach. In other words, they're flying at a speed which is greater than Mach 1. And normally those are used in more combat um, aerial roles. And then you also get other aircraft which are not really used for combat, but are used for training and things and that sort of thing, which are normally the more, which are normally the aircraft that you find with the propellers that travel a bit slower. And then you also have um, the helicopters that are also used within the industry. Tando, in your understanding, um, please tell me about uh, what do you understand regarding the role of an aeronautical engineer? Um, in terms of what an aeronautical engineer does, it's 
normally someone who works with aircraft and it could be anything from doing design in other words determining what the overall shape of anything that flies could be whether it be a helicopter or a UAV or anything of that sort if an aircraft needs to be fixed um, an aeronautical engineer is someone who's in the ideal position to oversee that whole process and make sure that the other subsystems that are within the aircraft are functioning correctly. Tando, could you, um, we are in a very what is considered to be a high-tech um, environment and keeping abreast with technology. Can you perhaps tell me how um, you keep yourself um, current and know what's going on with regard to technology and technology development? In terms of that, there's many ways to do that. I mean, there's a lot of shows these days that normally take a look at what's the latest technology in general. I mean, you always have to keep track of things like which aircraft, especially with the bigger companies such as, you know, Boeing, Airbus, Gripen, and all of those companies. You need to always, normally I just always take a look from time to time on their website pages to make sure that they are So normally with all the big companies, you need to always make sure that you check and look and see what direction they're going, because they're normally the ones that pull the industry in terms of which, te te which direction the technology is going to be going. Tando, we have come to the end of our structured interview questions. The next step is we are going to allow an opportunity for practical assessment, where we will give you three tasks and those tasks, we're going to use them as part of the assessment for this full interview to make a decision. We will also allocate the mentor for you and we'll see you again at the end of the day. Thank you for coming through to the interview. Thank you. Katando, ria bona kore singo le singo so obe mo hopolo wa hau hosona ota si finiela. Kimo nyana ya bushali, ota basi asibata. Wii kemi sedizi, wii kemezi. Ota beta katata, ene uti si le buka mo sombati la ya hai. Aeronautical engineering, kile kala la mechanical ho aviation. Ba ya plana, ba ya designer, ba ya manufacturer, ba le kula di fefani. Le sedizi sa mai sana ngle zona. Mahasla si pihello, kuhu pihello ho singo le singo so osi eza. Ufinye lo ho pallo ya hao ka har ha buima di pepetso o tietse leng ya hao Hello my name is Ketan Moti I'm from the Aerosystems Department here at Armsco. I'm currently working in this uh, department for about nine years. Um, I currently experience in the division. I've worked on several multi-aircraft programs, especially in the fighter aircraft line. Um, I've uh, got an engineering degree focusing on aeronautics as well as a master's degree. Um, and today I'll be Tando's mentor. The problems faced was that the stand-up makes the uh What goes up? Must come down. Sisi, no, 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 no. I ain't gag. Joba ge indogaz iti ona. If you nuklala ine pezulu jenge top aeronautical engineer kona lapana ge arms kuba fetu. Joba ge indogaz iza mage usolela umsebezi. But right now, Mayday, Mayday, Houston, I think we have a problem. Joba ge indishange wo chambu lesu yagle vigi. Auti ge indi nete kuti ni solve le kinga bafetu. Mo wunega zage amatuz amatacho awa ba ar ababini no e o e one bafetu. Umu ya zimpeni longe na lapana kuchweza na. Facebook, Ufara or Umkapas, or some of the Nitoras, the Isamag, or Solva, the Ink, King of the Fetch, Joga Indies, and Shinig, in King, I can pass. I got told also it's Hola Ingela, Gege as a Lateg. I wonder where we're going right now. Is it to the north? Is it to the east? Is it to the south? Or is it to the west? What are the Ero, the Combin of the Fetch, who turned on the task one? Hi Tanda, welcome to task number one. Uh, this task, uh, you're going to do an investigation on a standby magnetic compass. 
what I've got, I've got some data for you to analyze regarding the standby medic compass. This data comes from the Air Force, so please treat it with confidentiality. Um, then after you've done your uh, research and data analysis, uh, you're going to be uh, uh, required to do a presentation for you, to a few of our colleagues. Would you be able to do that, Tando? Yes, sir. Excellent. Thank you very much. I think the first time that I realized I wanted to do aeronautical engineering was when uh, I was about 14 years old and I, and I flew in, the, in an airplane for the first time. And I think ever since then I've been interested in aircrafts in the aeronautical industry. Um, so what I've done here is I've just actually noticed some interesting patterns here. So I'm just going to note them and so I can use it later on in the presentation. I think we treat a lot of information confidential within arms Corps is because to protect the client, um, the Air Force, things are very confidential within the Air Force domain. We don't want things to be leaked out. In your opinion, Tando, I mean, the information that is presented here in the documents, are they sufficient for you to use? In terms of the information here, it is actually quite substantial. Um, I think it also would have been nice if we could get to actually talk to some of the people who recorded this, just to find out, did they just take the easiest, the easiest option at the moment, or is this, you know, actually what, what did they mean when they say that they had a difficulty adjusting, what sort of difficulty was it, so that would be quite nice. I've been to research for the standby magnetic compass for Itasquan Begui and they're very important because this cutting mong news and news are my documents in Pella. What the I'm a document in the information I tell you what's in standby magnetic compass. I tell you what's in search and design and is in danger. So you are not good seeing in the research, but we in the importance of cool loops. Connings when the show goes in, I'm going to understand what's in the job and why bang is later. So you can't any importance in task. I'm just going to start preparing the presentation just so that I can show everybody else what I feel my findings are. Right, Tanda, this is the presentation part of task one here. Uh, you're going to now present all the results from your research that you've done on the standby magnetic compass. The contents of the presentation are basically going to be the introduction, what the objectives were, the data that I had to analyze, and then finally the results. This is just a picture of the standby magnetic compass. In my opinion, I think there's very few female engineers in the in the engineering environment is because I think they're very scared of going into the field. Uh, maybe it's in terms of, it scares them in terms of what you're supposed to be doing um, and what you will be doing uh, during the work. In terms of when the standby magnetic compass is used, it's generally used as a backup system. What that means is that the, as if the normal gyros of the aircraft, which are used to sense where the aircraft is at a particular time, if, they, if those fail, then that's when the standby magnetic compass will then come in. The problems faced was that the stand-up makes the... Uh, The problem faced was that the standby magnetic compass would take a long time to stabilize when they were busy trying to calibrate it for in-flight. something a very, very technical in Ayazi, but shows if in Ayazi gi reply something in Yazi or instead of Guti information. In terms of what the issues were found, the biggest problem that was found was due to calibration. In the sense that before the compass is used and also during service, they always have to basically realign it and make sure that it's set to the correct references.
because either way um valuing those push good thing is among achievers on kissing thing is achieve and Mkabang would see if Yana Bega Kona Manje obviously being so chabula but either way it's the achievement in goal for me. Um I'd just like to ask from the floor, are there any questions with regards to this? Um, how long was your finding? How long did you take uh, to do all, to, to find everything, the findings that you just told us? Um, the data that I got was actually taken over a year's period. So in other words, uh, over a year that the different squadrons were busy operating, they just went and collected all that data. Because sometimes if it's too far back, they couldn't get to all of it. How many MMIRs did you find broken or were they damaged? How many of them? Um, in terms of the MMIRs that I received, I think out of all of those, we just find on average that 60% of the time when we receive the reports, they'd be damaged or broken. And with the other times, it would just be very small issues that the compass was actually experiencing in the sense that it wasn't broken and it just needed to be jiggled and fixed a little bit. Thank you, Tanda. Now that concludes the task one. Thank you, everybody, for attending this presentation. I really appreciate it. Tanda, we can now move on to task number two. Thanks. Tanda o presenti le handle. Ugo hezi. Why is heba? Leading class a presentation ya hae. Dila tala na handle. Let's ona di patisiso. Kiri skills te nor kau fela harona radi choga. Le kaleng le na o tami a kor obe creative. O batla ho zeba. O nepa ho bani di poso. Di kang kama pelo abato. O choka national senior certificate. E tau du melang kor yote diploma kapa yona degree. Mostly physical science di compulsory. Hae kama o batla o kala. Kena la ba aviation kapa yona science. Pilot, check comms. From what the pilot is saying, it seems that there aren't any comms on this airplane. Welcome Tando, this is task two here. Behind me we have a King Air 200 here and today you'll be doing a quality inspection. The first task that I want you to do on this uh, inspection is to do a visual inspection and then we'll walk, go through a functional inspection where we look at the propeller and all the other items on the aircraft. Would we be able to do that Tando? Yes sir. All right. Tanda, this is the aircraft I told you about. It came in for uh, a service on the engine. Can you tell me what's uh, the things that we have to look at when you do an inspection on the engine? Um, some of the important things to look at, especially with regards to the engine, is that you need to make sure that you have all loose wiring has been correctly tied together. And in addition to this, you also need to make sure that Items such as these have all been locked down with Loctite to ensure that during fight you don't get any movement or shaking of these critical parts. And also one of the most imp important things to do is to also always just take a look inside and make sure that none of the maintenance tools have been left inside the engine. Now that we've finished the visual inspection now, we have to do a walk around on the aircraft. Uh, so let's, let's start doing a walk around Tando. It 
Okay, I think um, in terms of the inspection, the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at the door. The main thing about looking at the door is we need to ensure that everything on the door is properly fastened and that it's all secure. By that, I mean that um, this actuator here used for opening the door, you need to make sure that's properly fastened. You need to make sure that all the steps are secure. And you also need to make sure that you don't have any cracks I turn now that we've done the door, I think we can move on to the wing. Can you walk? I think the most difficult thing about getting an engineering degree is actually the long hours that you have to put in. I think uh, you're taken by a surprise in terms of when you go to university, the amount of work that is required. So Tanda, when was the first time you got involved in the aircraft and the aviation industry? Um, I think the first time I ever heard about the aviation industry was when I used to always go and see the Air Force shows that happen at the Air Force bases. Once I saw all the quick and amazing maneuvers that they did there, I just was like, wow, I want to work with these aircraft. Um, we're engineering um, for Minintengulu because even now, manja back up as abandoning we're engineering and Minengibona as integuti feeling some wings by especially man to mazan about good we met in physics. We're in our middle of engineering because it's cutting this thingy sting a more of Tina Bafas we engineering because we are never enough. Melis fag and jayical power lab. We need to make sure firstly that the tires are in a good and sound condition and we also need to make sure that obviously there aren't any visual obstructions that we see from inside here and that also everything looks, especially the landing gear actuators here, that they look like they're also in a very good condition which is what we see currently. At some point, getting a phone when the Lutonga may be getting one mommy, a seven, then the show with his no wood last year, Funda, in the Nam Ginza show with him, Nam one day, Manga Manton, and Funu in the show with him, number one, Giba Fundisa with him, Agnenda, which went to Allen in Pilin, Melaba Kubege, and Banga Kiva Ping on my dreams. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start with some of the things that need to happen before the engine started. The first thing the pilot has to do is he has to ensure all the comms are working and he also needs to make sure he checks all of the instrumentation within the aircraft. Pilot, check comms. From what the pilot is saying, it seems that there aren't any comms on this airplane. So now what we're going to do is we're going to ask the pilot to start the right engine. Look at the aircraft, guys. We're happy and that's it. 
Okay, thanks, Tando. This ends task two. We'll now move on to task three. Tando o le kutsi tsotlhe go ya ka go latelana ha tsona. Mona diphoso ga di batla hale. Mosebetseng ona o ka specialize o rarolla mathata a boima o etsa di task tse fapaneng. Empa di thuto tsa teng dinka nako etelele go rowe a professional engineer. Ene hape o tswela pele o ntse o ithuta o sebetsa di awara. Ba teng ba bangata ba tla go jotsa gore o ka se gone. Empa ho go wena go ba super gore ba gona hala. Birds of the feather flock together. He na kuge na tuje sindi zana ge ne hasole tu uta ndo bafeti. Indo wazige eno loa zige shono kono ge lo lo msa ge indi zamshini. Indi ngangchele no kuti all I know about wings are hot wings. Kote ngabe ni ala zige ika masifuna la panogo el chambo. Azu ge nete ge nige za one more two which is the letter I. Oma gas puye emba ukefu. Ispani no tando is gonna give you wings. Uh, that sounds like a popular ad. That reminds me, it's time for an ad break. See you after this. Something like this, oh, no. Altana, this is your final task, task three. Um, for this, we have a Seeker 400 UAV. And for, for this task, what I want you to do, first of all, is to explain to me what a UAV is, its uses, its functions. Um, I'm gonna ask you a few more questions in detail on it. And then after this, we'll move over to the design office where we've got, uh, on the computer, I want you to do some simulations. Okay, basically what a UAV is, a UAV is an unmanned aerial vehicle. And what makes it so amazing, it's the fact that UAVs such as this one in particularly are either able to fly by themselves or you have a pilot who sits in the ground station who's actually able to control the aircraft while it's flying. Kes kat sini kalung guna mapa noy guna air show lah, wase air force. Galasus kati, intom ini bengis jeli le, bengis jelo ruguti. Angin dah bagus muntu tini, even if bangai kabaya mantap amnya malang langzo sebenza kau neng fun wenza show ruguti. Songkis kati, ekseni mini psugu, gas sebenza engenza show ruguti. One day namungzo sebenza ngapa noy. Tando, now that you've given me a good uh, background on what a UAV is and where it's used and all, all these functions, uh, what we want to do is just to test the UAV if it's functioning properly. So we want you to do a startup for us. Uh, then we move over to the design office where we will simulate the UAV in flight, uh, simulated landing and the forces that you'll experience during flight. Uh, there's definitely scope for women in engineering. You can also add that, um, you know, sometimes you, you think of a uh, uh, engineering as getting your hands dirty and all of those things which maybe women are put off by, but I think when you actually do the engineering, you find out that, you know, it, it's not really that and you, you actually, actually are doing some interesting work and you're contributing. So Tana, now we're in the, uh, in the mission control room here. Uh, what I want you to do, just to show me that you have a little bit uh, of knowledge of how the, the UAV uh, operates, I just want you to uh, do an engine start and switch the lights on, after which we'll go to the design office and do these simulations. Okay, lights on. Okay, now are you ready for the engine starter? Okay, lights are on. Okay, now executing engine start. Started the engine. Okay. 
Thunder, that was good. Uh, let's move on to the design office where we can do the simulations now. Um, okay, so this Kati is calling Bank Bulile. Um, being this is an team, Champe, like Bank Rejector, like Labantana, Madamaza Corner, and also being this is an team, Champe and Gipulongi Corner, because Angiti, Labantamaza, and Ibon got the Biba, my cool kids, and this is Kati versus calling. So being this is an team, Nom Champe, and Giko good enough, or Champe, you know, Champe Milingi, wishing you school or Nizin Tizinjal. All right, Tando, so now we're at the design office here. Uh, what I want you to do at the office now is I'll take you to your computer there and we're going to do some simulations. One, one of the simulations I want you to do is to simulate the aircraft landing and to show me the forces that the aircraft experience when it lands. And the other one is to do a model or simulation of the flutter that the, the UAV will experience. So let's go ahead and do that, Tando. Okay. I think in terms of the technology within uh, this environment, it keeps on changing. Uh, being in the military environment, you you keep on learning new things. There's new projects coming up. You have to keep abreast. Um, I think what you get uh, at university is just a basic baseline of uh, knowledge. You, you have to essentially build on that knowledge and to learn the industry itself and to keep on growing, otherwise you'll be left behind. Um, so basically what this is now, is this is a CAD model of the UAV. And as you can see here, you have the landing gear, which are here at the bottom, which is what we're actually going to be simulating just now with the landing. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the, what happens to the landing gear when it lands in terms of whether it lands on one wheel, two wheels or three wheels. We want to make sure that it can actually handle that and that it doesn't break when it lands. So in terms of what flutter does to an aircraft, what happens is sometimes you might find that you get this golden moment where the aircraft is traveling at a certain speed and the forces that the air then impose upon the aircraft actually cause the aircraft to do something like this. Oh, no. Because in get I feel like I'm um angi boni as into ukuthi mangifuna uqale intenja manje sengiyasaba because ngiyazivela ukuthi empeleni ngiyenzeka vela ukuthi izinto zosifaila so because sengibe ngayo nayo leyo feeling leyo ngiyazi ukuthi at the end of the day impilo yaqhubeka angeke you know yonke into ngaphisa yenzeke and just because into yafela kusho ukuthi ngingamele uyenzele into all right thank you tando um that's it for task number 3 then Hi Tando, welcome back. Tando, we had a discussion with your mentor and he discussed um, the task that you did for us. Before we continue, could you perhaps, do you have any questions for us? With regards to the UAV, would it be possible for me to use it as the current focus of my masters on UAV control if I do get the job? Yes, um, um, Tando, um, the UAV area is actually one of the newer areas within AMSCO um, and we're looking to appoint particularly female specialists in that area. Furthermore, um, we love to develop our own people and also if their studies ties in with, you know, the strategy within AMSCO where we are going, 
then definitely there's scope for you to use that in, in your masters. Um, and perhaps, as I said, it's a new division. Perhaps one day you could also head it up and become one of the few female managers that we have within the company. Uh, Tando, we have had a discussion with your mentor in terms of the task that you have done. We will receive good feedback. We have also gone through our notes to observe how you performed on the interview. And now um, I hope you are ready for this, Tando. We just want to inform you that you have been successful with this interview. You are going to be appointed as an aeronautical engineer. You'll be coming an addition to our team. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Well done, Tando. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We wish you all the best. Yeah, now I won't let you guys down. <laughs> this is an amazing opportunity. And, wow. <laughs> we are pleased as well, Tando, okay. that you're going to be one of the team members that will make effective contribution to the company. Sebenzi sengo tuli lanem amsko gichablile mbwa lomsebi zani zomsi zaguti gikubenge fundo zami and also gichule experience ku aerospace industry to all my hustlers out there pressa pusha panda. Well done, Tando. Riboni kawe na kwa rubatu, maka suhu tibele. Matata li maemo, luona aka suhu tibele. Kuwa ena fela ya kai tibela. Puto ya runa ya beke ena, isu wako tembelele. Ariana ona le khatla uya ukene la South African Air Force. Bona heba na lidi kariya se khatli sang, tedi li mmoyeng, li tedi li mfasi. Military Skills Development System, ki yona tse la yaba chaba mwana South Africa, bailo nkurubana le khatla ho, baba ka applyan ka yona. Ha ona li grade 12 fo, ona li li mo tedi li 18 ho ya go 22 ona le diploma ka pa degree ka pa yona 3 years experience o ka finyella o tla volunteer ahead le modile pedi ntso o fumana dikwetliso ha e ka ba gona le go sa utlwang go pula o tshakela facebook ka pa yona website romela ya haopotso Hustlers, never na utano ba fetu. O itati le lomsebenzi. Wa washa, wa shuga shuga, wa ulakela. Pezu na lock her career. It's now airborne. O umleta le gwin penule ye we chambule tu ya glevigi. E kama agata silfu ne ba fetu yi airborne. If you got it right, wave your hands in the air. If you got it wrong, wave them side to side like you just don't care because you have another opportunity next week ba fetu. But in tole e we chambule right. Bela umakama minu panam tambo tuto. Facebook and also on YouTube. Don't look down, look up and stay up like the planes in the sky.